here we are. We're going to get set up for a podcast uh, recording using our HQ audio stream. So um, we're just going to walk through the settings really quick. Victor, do you want to kind of describe how your settings are going to be for this podcast? Victor is using Session Wire Studio standalone. No DAW. No DAW. I, <laughs> it's funny how that's the language we're using these days. Yeah. Too lazy for the syllables. Okay, so uh, what I've got here is um, the TalkBack microphone source. And we're not actually going to use that ultimately in, in the end, but we're using that just to communicate just on a regular standard video call system. Uh, we're just going to set that to move my window super weirdly like that. And uh, I don't know what happened there, but let's hit this. And I'm going to set it to be my audio interface, which is Scarlett 8920. And I just have my simple uh, talkback microphone um, plugged into channel one on the interface and gained up. It's uh, Earthworks SP33. Um, it's a very podcasty mic, actually. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to set the, right, the uh, talk, Mac, uh, talk, talk Mac output to the Scarlet as well so that I can hear Brennan's uh, voice, his vocal come through my speakers or headphones if I use that. And that's more of a, what Brennan was just describing to me just before we started this video is uh, that that's more of a troubleshooting thing uh, where we can use that if something happens with the DAW, with Pro Tools or whatever, we can instantly go back default to the just using TalkBack and, and SessionWire app and it just acts as like your Zoom or Skype or you know all the other lesser than video conferencing tools, <laughs> not kidding. And uh, I was gonna say something way worse. And then over here for the high quality audio, HQ audio, um, you know, flip that on, hopefully that's not making, doubling me out on his system. And I'm gonna select the HQ audio input to be my interface. So that means that my microphone is going to channel one in my interface and session wire, the app here is receiving audio from that Focusrite audio interface. And then I'm gonna set the output, high quality audio output, which is Brennan's voice, his high quality untouched microphone, just conversion, that's it, no processing or anything. That's gonna set that audio to come into to my uh, session wire and then out of that into my audio interface, choose a Scarlet there and it's going to go into my speakers or ultimately I made the speakers and we put headphones on to do a proper podcast. So basically when you on the receiving, on the interviewee side, it's just uh, audio interface city, really just uh, talk back in and out is my interface. And I just simply plug my mic into channel one and then the high quality audio is interface and interface for the in and the out. Super simple setup. Yeah, great. And like Victor said, for the interviewee, the setup is very simple. Session Wire Studio standalone until we come out with some new features down the road that, you know, will make it even easier. Which at the time of watching this video, that may already be out. So, I mean, with this, may. we may just be shooting ourselves in the foot and this, or this video may be gone, actually. So, <laughs> whatever. I'm, we're doing it. We're doing it live. That's right. We've been saying the whole time. Um, so obviously in this situation, I, as the uh, host of this interview, the interviewer, I'm going to be recording all audio. So my microphone locally and Victor's coming in, in high quality, no processing at 48K 32-bit float. So um, it's, it's really simple. The only downside of this setup is that we're at the mercy of the internet. Um, if something happened to the internet connection, Victor's voice could go away. So yeah, ideally you would want both ends of the call to be recording like I am just in case. But again, future's coming down the road. It's going to make it really simple to do podcasts. All right. So let me show you how to set up Pro Tools here. Uh, I'm working like I normally do. My playback engine set to my audio interface and my buffer size is pretty low because we're going to be monitoring both Victor's voice and my voice through Pro Tools. So I'm going to keep it pretty low if you can. Uh, I'm going to create two aux channels, two stereo aux channels. These are going to be where the session wire plugins live. They're stereo plugins only, so you have to create stereo auxes. And I'm going to create two mono audio tracks where I'm going to record both of our voices. So here we go. Pop these in. The first stereo audio track, I'm going to label session wire send. And the second one, I'm going to label session wire receive. Receive E before I right? Yeah, I think so. 
<laughs> and you said the first stereo audio track, but in Pro Tools, where I think you meant the first stereo aux track, just to, just to correct the video, because we, we don't want the YouTube trolls, or, or do we? I mean, troll, trolls unite here. You know, do what I do, not what I say, right? I'm, you know, I embrace the trolls, really. It's, it's the only yeah. way to go. I, you know, I deal with them every day, so it's okay. <laughs> um, the first mono audio track, I'm going to label Brendan Vox, which is where I'm going to record my voice. And the next uh, mono audio track, I'm going to label Victor Vox. Vox. That was really bad. Okay, here we go. So on the session wire send aux, I'm going to put the session wire send plugin. Makes sense. On the session wire receive aux, I'm going to put the session wire receive plugin. And already, really? yeah, really. <laughs> and now we can hear Victor twice because I can hear Victor through the talkback audio stream and he's coming through the left side of the HQ audio stream because his microphone is plugged into channel one of his interface. So now I'm gonna set the output of this aux to this bus that I've created called session wire record. And that's gonna send the audio out into the middle of nowhere and I need to bring that back in to Victor's mono aux or mono audio channel. So I go down here, find the bus, and I'm gonna take the left side of Session Wire Record. And now Victor's voice will appear on this track if I input it. My voice it. and my kids getting their pizza is gonna appear on this track and it's about to get really loud in here. So hopefully you got all of that audio coming. Yeah, we got it all in HQ. It's awesome. Perfect. <laughs> so now I'm gonna set up <laughs> I'm gonna set up my voice, and it's gonna come in this track here, this mono audio track, and my microphone is plugged into channel one of my interface, so if I hit input arm, I'll see signal show up here, and I can hear myself, which is great. Now I need to pipe it to the session wire send aux to get to Victor, so I'm gonna choose this send, and I can actually just choose this track. Yeah, you're gonna hear two of me if I hit this. Yes. Now my voice is hitting the send plugin if I crank up the send. And we're gonna get feedback because the HQ audio track has no processing on it, which means we're both gonna need a pair of these if we're doing this podcast, and we're gonna mute our monitors. So here we go. <laughs> it's okay, this is, this is real life. So I'm gonna mute my talk back. Victor's muted his already. And now we're both only hearing each other through Session Wire's HQ audio stream. And we can start the podcast recording when I arm these tracks here. Boom. So now we're recording a podcast on one end of the call only, which makes it really easy for, you know, you got a VIP or somebody on the interviewee side, set them up with Session Wire Studio, get them the little interface and a microphone, inject their audio straight in and you can record it on one side. Yeah, and they don't even have to have some crazy infrastructure like we were just talking before we got on this call. Uh, where they think you could use a little Apple like or headphone microphone and plugged into your computer and capture that. And it's it's unprocessed, so it's you know a microphone uh, on the interviewee side. So they can be super lo-fi, super low tech on, on that side, which is like, I mean, this, this is just great. So yeah, it's that easy. Yeah, and it'll only get easier again. You know, the features coming down the road. Interviewee will only need to have a URL to do an interview, among other things that we can't talk about. It's all very hush hush. So that's how you get set up to do a podcast with Session Wire. Very simple for both ends of the call. You want to find out more about Session Wire? Head to sessionwire.com. You can find all kinds of articles to set up your DAW with different workflows on our support site, support.sessionwire.com. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time.